On average, a healthy Jersey cow will take 30 to 50 steps every two hours. But every once in a while, you come across an overachiever. To keep track of these outliers, Carroll County farmer Katie Dodderer Pyle enlists the help of a little green gadget. So every cow on this farm, they get a pedometer, what I like to call Fitbits, because they're pretty much the same thing. The pedometers are an ID system that we put on the right front leg of the cow. And just like every pedometer that a person has, it tracks the steps of the cow. Welcome to the Cow Comfort in Dairy in Union Bridge. The hotel theme and farm motto were dreamt up by Katie and husband David Pyle to emphasize their dedication to keeping their girls happy and healthy, even if it means tracking their every move. And that's not all these faux Fitbits track. Not only does it track the steps, this unit actually tracks milk production. At each station there is a computer. So each computer reads the pedometer that they have. So right now this cow, as you can see, she's milking and she's up to 19.7 pounds of milk. So the pedometers track the milk weights, send all that information to our computer system, and then we can download that onto our app. That's right. We have an app for that, so I have every single one of my cows in this app on my cell phone. Keeping an eye on milk production makes sense. After all, these twice daily milkings are how the inn's bovine guests pay their way. But why track steps? Part of the answer is that cows, like people, only produce milk after giving birth. This is important for us because it's a diagnostic tool for us to figure out, you know, is this cow in heat or is she not feeling well? So if a cow takes more than the average number of steps, that means she's in heat. We need to go breed her. If she's not taking as many steps, that's a really big red flag to say, hey, she's not feeling very good. She's not getting up to eat. She's not getting up to drink. That tells us, hey, we need to go check that cow out and make sure she's okay. Each morning, the farm's computer system automatically flags cows with an above or below average number of steps. Today, the cows that made the list are all above average. So you can see at 629 this morning, she took 140.8 steps. At 529 this morning, she took 166.4. Now if you compare that to what she was doing yesterday, she was only 47 this hour, 99 another, 76 another. So it's a really big jump. In other words, it's time for her to be bred. We're breeding them on their natural cycle. The only other way to capture with a cow being in heat is actually to sit in that barn and watch them all day, which we really don't have time for. So the pedometers help us out with that. It's a big time saver. Both third generation dairy farmers, Pennsylvania born Katie and Vermont native David, bought their farm in Maryland in 2013. Tongue in cheek decorations like a list of amenities reference the farm's lighthearted name. But the couple's dedication to cow comfort is no joke. My favorite part of being a dairy farmer is taking care of these animals. And jerseys are just a super fun to take care of just because they're goofy, but they're a very sweet animal. Every cow gets in-house child care every single day. They get free buffet lunch, breakfast, and dinner, fans and sprinklers when it's hot. Even prenatal care, not something you'll find at any old inn. That's a nice picture of a 38-day-old calf. And you can see the heartbeat. So that calf is alive and well. And technology, like the pedometers, is a huge part of the equation. We cannot farm like our grandfather's farm back in the 50s. And with technology, that helps us be better dairy farmers. That helps us diagnose any calves that might be getting sick and before they actually get really sick. So just like a new latest and greatest iPhone coming out, we like to have the technology that's available for us to help better take care of our animals. Because in the end, what's good for the cows is also good for the bottom line. Happy cows produce more everything. They live a happier life, they live longer, they produce more milk, they stay healthier. As for whether Katie and David ever get tired of catering to the needs of 350 cows? Look around you, it's a beautiful day. Where else can you get up and do what you love every day? It's a very difficult business to be in, but it is very rewarding every day to be able to get up, walk to work, and enjoy the outdoors and the earth and God's creation.